Hey guys, my name is Brian and welcome back to another Firebird Friday where we're continuing our work on this 1967 Pontiac Firebird. I have a problem today and today's video we need to solve it. The problem is my Firebird is right in the middle of a two car garage. So I got space on this side, I got space on that side, but there's times like right now I'm trying to rebuild my Porsche motor and my 67 Porsche, which you can check out that video up here if you're into Porsches or vintage air-cooled cars. Um, but I can't get the Porsche in here. I could if the car was that way, but it's not running. So I don't know what to do. So I went online and I started doing some research on the um, Harbor Freight metal uh, wheel dollies. And it was 50-50, but I didn't want to spend three, 400 bucks on a set of wheel dollies that I'm going to use maybe once or twice and then be done with. So I have an idea and I want you to come along with me and see if it's a good idea if we can make some wheel dollies or purchase something that will be wheel dollies for around 50 bucks and get the job done and be done. So let me show you what that is. Hold tight. These are Harbor Freight furniture dollies. They're the uh, 12 by 18. They're rated for a thousand pounds and they're 10, 12 bucks each. I want to see if uh, they'll work for us. So, uh, Let's put these on, uh, let's get the car on these, and let's see if we can move the car around and whether or not they work or not, and uh, see what happens. Will they bust, will they break, will they split? We're about to find out. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is get the rear end up a little bit higher. It's on jack stands now, but a little bit higher so we can slide those furniture dollies underneath. So let me get this rear end up. Okay, now let's try this first wheel. Alright. Gonna put them like that. Put this one down. Gonna eyeball it. Grab my jack stand. We got the full weight on there. Let's go to the front. I know, it needs grease. See if that's enough room. Obviously, this is going to be the heavy end with that uh, Pontiac motor. Let's see here. Okay. She's up. There's our first problem. See right there? That wheel's about to slide off that. Let me reposition that. All right, let's see if we can't line this up again. About like that. Probably wouldn't hurt to put some air in there. It's 
it's not easy. Then again, I'm battling a uh, bum knee and ankle today. So I don't have all my energy. Funny, the front rolls better than the back. And once again, it's starting to slip out again. The air in that tire will probably help. All right, guys, so you can see the wheels are on. Now, of course, I did realize that if you have a leaky tire like this one, which you can hear it slowly leaking, makes for not rolling really well. So you're going to have all four tires uh, holding air well. But right there, that gives us damn near half to that center line. I can darn near drive the Porsche and park it in here if I wanted to. But at least it gives us enough room now. I have room to pull the back end of the Firebird out so I can work on it. And I have room for the uh, Porsche motor that I'm going to have to uh, tear in to find out what's wrong with cylinder number four. And it did give me just enough room over on this side to grab my tools and, and whatnot. So I think for, you know, 40 bucks, I got them on sale for 10 bucks a piece. Um, you know, I'm... I'm not gonna bitch complain. We'll see how long they last, but uh, for right now, $40, um, yeah, it, it beats the 100 and some odd dollars or the two or $300 units. Well guys, obviously you can see that the $40 investment for the uh, Harbor Freight wheel dollies is working out for me. I can move the car around where I need to, uh, forwards, backwards, side to side. I almost got it diagonal, that was kind of cool. But either way, for 40 bucks, um, some quick stands that you can use to move the cars around if they're not operational just yet. I'm, I'm all for it for 40 bucks. You can spend the hundreds of dollars if you want, uh, if you plan on using it a lot of times, but I plan on you moving this once, twice more until that motor is back in it and it can drive it on its own. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please hit that like button down below. If you're not one of my normal subscribers, consider subscribing and check out more work that we're doing to the Firebird and of the Porsche in the next coming weeks and months. All right, guys, thank you so much. We will see you next Friday for another Firebird Friday.